Uh, looks like we're set to end the week on a positive note. Of course, we have those leads from Wall Street helping. Not a lot of uh, macro data out today, but a very interesting morning. We had a Scottish referendum. Um, the counting of votes was underway during our morning trading session. As the results trickled in slowly, we saw the pro-union camp um, gaining momentum. And there was good news for the sterling. We saw a bounce in cable that was pushing through some key levels. The pound yen also touching some new six-year highs. The dollar yen also among its highest levels since 2008. So that meant a weaker yen and there was a big boost for Japanese stocks. The Nikkei and topics were among the top performer, performing markets today. Now with the uncertainty from the Scottish referendum out of the way, we saw more confidence um, coming back to the markets. Most markets in positive territory today. Just um, one, the uh, market didn't do so well was um, China hedge shares. That was dragged down by Huanong Power. It was downgraded by Goldman Sachs and the stock price dipped today by over 3%. Now, there's also some concerns over the Chinese economy. Uh, property prices, um, according to data released yesterday, home prices dropped for the fourth straight month and the price dip was felt in more cities. Well, the one to watch um, tonight will be Alibaba's um, IPO. So perhaps no surprise that tech shares today are in favour. The top gainers among them are Tencent, Naver, uh, TCS and Yahoo Japan.